Hi, and welcome back to Sadler Up Nails. So for this video, I just want to show you some of my Valentine's Day water decals, which are on sale on my website. They are all $5 um, Canadian. So if you're in the U.S., that's even cheaper. Um, so check out my website, sadlerupnails.com. I'll put the link in the description and get yourself some Valentine's Day decals while they're on sale. So for this nail, I am starting off with Madame Glam's rubber base in Thailand. It is this gorgeous milky white base coat. And because it's a rubber base, it is a little bit of a thicker base coat. So um, if you are someone with brittle nails, um, that is a perfect base coat for you, um, for your natural nails, that is. Uh, these are obviously press-ons. Um, so I am just going to do one coat of the base coat, and then I'm going to put on the decal because these decals are on white paper. Uh, therefore, they are opaque. They are not transparent. Um, so you don't really have to have much of an opaque base. Um, so now that the base coat has cured, I'm putting down the decal and you can see this is a very sticky base coat. It is perfect for applying decals too, especially if you're a beginner, um, because it doesn't slide. It's not a, like the dispersion layer on it is sticky, um, versus slippery. If you, if you know what I'm talking about, sometimes I find them to be slippery versus sticky. I don't know. Um, so I just put the decal over top and I'm just using my fingers to stretch it out and get out all of the creases. Now I do want to add, this is an Apre natural stiletto nail. Um, for the sculpted nails, they are a lot more curved and you do get more creasing on the sculpted nails. Um, but just pull a little bit on the decal, um, not too much cause you don't want to rip it. Um, and then it will just pull those creases out slightly. And then once you have it all flattened down, come in with your file and gently file off the excess. Um, I have still not tried using acetone to get the excess off. That is something I need to do. Um, yeah, I just think acetone would cause the ink to bleed. Um, I don't know. I mean, acetone is meant to break products down, so I don't necessarily like to use it on um, my nails. I prefer using like alcohol versus acetone, um, but I will do a video trying the acetone to see how that works. So after you've filed it all off, I'm just going around the nail again with my fingers to try to press down all of those creases and then I'm gonna put the nail back down on my little nail stand here, which I do have a video on how I make um, my little individual nail stands. So um, check that out. If I remember, I will put the link to it in the description. I do not know how to do those little, those little links on top, okay? I'm still learning YouTube. So now I'm using my cuticle pusher to further push out those creases i'm kind of like rubbing it rubbing them down pressing them into that base coat and then i'm coming in with madame glam's um just their regular base coat to seal in the decal um, i like to add the base coat and cure it before i do a top coat because in my mind, it just creates that kind of like a double tape, you know, to seal in your decal because gel likes to stick to either a dispersion layer or like a buffed up surface. So this is just me kind of adding that dispersion layer back on um, for my top coat to stick to, which I am now coming in with the top coat. Again, I'm using Madame Glam. This is their no wipe top coat. Um, I love it. It's a pretty thick top coat. 
It doesn't bleed on you. Um, it levels out quite nicely. Um, if you'd like, you can use my code BeckyTK40 for 40% off Madam Glam products. Um, so now you might not think this step is required, but like it definitely is. So what I'm going to do is buff the nail smooth to um, make sure those creases are smooth because let's face it, like you don't flatten the creases out completely. Um, so once you top coat it, it does feel a little bit bumpy. So you do want to file it and smooth the entire nail out and then come in with your final top coat to seal everything in nicely so that there are no gaps there's no way any water or any chemicals hand sanitizer things like that can get into your decal and cause it to start lifting off the nail so definitely do that extra step of buffing i know it's really annoying like i know um but trust me what's more annoying is your customer calling you up and saying hey, the decal came off, I'd like a refund. So do the extra step, okay? Just trust me. Um, so that is the nail. And I did do, I guess, half a nail set because these are available on my website. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I have so much more to come. Bye.